Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cardiovascular Disease. Our specific topic here is hypertension. Dr. Raj, let's start. We'll begin with hypertension. What are we looking at here? 140 over 90. That's the cutoff point that you want to pay attention to. 140 systole, 90 diastole. And these are things that we will then extrapolate from physio to make sure that you understand the significance of both systole and diastole. Now, what do you need to confirm hypertension? Three separate measurements over three separate office visits. Pay attention to that phrase, please. Anything that we do moving forward, you need to make sure that you confirm your diagnosis always. Those are the type of questions that you shall get from every single source. Let it be rotations, let it be your residency, let it be any licensing exam. Now, once you go beyond 140 over 90, what do you need to do? You want to make sure that you understand at what point do you need to administer therapy immediately. Hmm. Now we get into blood pressures that are quite high. Take a look at this systole. 210. What's normal? Well, 120. As a frame of reference, 120 is normal systole. 140 is technical definition of hypertension. And 210 is ridiculously high. Then we have a diastole of 120. What does that mean? Well, as we proceed through hypertension, we will take a look at the differences between primary and secondary. We'll be spending a little bit more time on secondary because the exact etiology and pathogenesis become quite obvious to us and the journey towards secondary hypertension becomes very relevant. Primary hypertension, for the most part, what are you thinking about telling your patient? Hey, why don't you lose some weight? Now, you're not going to come out and say that. That wouldn't be very nice. So what do you say? Hmm, what are you eating? Would you want to cut down on salt, perhaps? Salt, what is that? Sodium. Hmm? So you th start thinking about sodium and its effects on your blood pressure. Whenever sodium is present in your plasma and your blood, guess what it's going to do? It's going to retain some of that fluid, huh? So all I'm doing here is giving you a better idea, a more detailed-oriented pathophys so that you understand how to deal with something like primary hypertension. As your blood pressure continues to rise, we see here at 210, you want to start thinking about, wow, do I need to admi administer immediate therapy? At diastole of 120, huh, what are you thinking about when you think diastole, the resting phase? Everything that we do, close your eyes, everything that we do in medicine, you should be able to conceptualize. If you're just reading what is written here, if you just look at my mouth and listen to what I have to say, so be it, but you have to be able to picture it. So that's your resting phase, isn't it? Hmm. What's resting? How about your blood vessels? Well, if your blood vessels get constricted, what happens? What's that called, please? Good. It's called TPR, total peripheral resistance. And so therefore, if there's increased vasoconstriction of your blood vessel, what phase of your blood pressure is going to be affected? The systole or diastole, please. The diastole. So as we move forward, or any question that you get in terms of dissecting your blood pressure further, you want to pay attention to, well, is the volume contributing to my systole, or is it the fact that my blood vessels and whether or not it's vasoconstricting or dilating affecting my diastole? You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.